Xavier Zoffer. I'm with Adolescent Content, and you're watching Native NYC. Today we're in 74th Street, Jackson Heights, and I got a very special guest for you. Hi, I'm Muhua Khan. I'm an artist living in New York, and we're at Kebab King. We are having Robiarni. I'm excited to eat. What do you have down here? I got the classic kebab roll. Oh, we're going it, in right now? It still tastes good. Are we going in? Yeah, oh, first okay. bite. I am a self-taught artist living in New York. Also a designer, content creator, a bunch of other things, but primarily an artist and designer. I am a Bangladeshi American, so I was born and raised in New York. My parents are from Bangladesh. I have always lived in Queens, but most recently I actually moved back because I just missed my culture and my heritage, you know? But I was born here, moved to Long Island, and came back. Um, and now this is my first year ever of like doing content creation and art and designing full-time post-grad. I did not go to school for that. So it's been an exciting but like scary journey, you know? So I first started out, it was not serious, it was not supposed to be a business. Um, I really like painting and making art and then maybe like one friend was like, oh, I really want to buy that. And I was like, no, you're joking, you know? I didn't have like trust in myself, I didn't have confidence. And so I made like a few prints. I had maybe like an order a month, you know, nothing crazy. And then I kind of branched out into digital art and selling like apparel, merchandise on top of just art, so like mugs, tote bags, and things like that. And it's been such a crazy journey because now I'm like full blown into designing apparel and like people actually buy from me, you know? It's yeah, just so weird. Sad. That's beautiful. Things change, yeah. So how was that? reaction from your family because I know in the South Asian community mm -hmm. when it comes to doing like a non-traditional job it's not that it doesn't really go that well yeah. at first so how was that like? Uh, it was definitely difficult I definitely had to fight for it mm -hmm. um, so I got my master's in childhood education like I went the oh. whole nine yards I got a 4.0 graduated early like I did everything to make them proud basically and I was essentially going to become a teacher right after graduation last year. Um, and then I kind of told myself and also them, let me give myself a year to keep this like a serious thing, full-time content creator, designer, and things like that. Um, so it was really hard to like prove my work, essentially just because I didn't even know if I could succeed at it. Um, but it kind of worked out because, I mean, I'm still working at it. It kind of worked out because now my parents are starting to believe that it yeah. makes money first of all and second of all making an impact um, it also really helps because like a lot of my art is rooted from my culture yeah. you know and I'm also helping people in Bangladesh so they see that like an American born kid is using her resources to help people back at home for like their country and my country um, so that has really made a difference you started pre-pandemic. Yeah. So how was going through that? How was that obstacle? How was that like? So um, I invested in an iPad. I was like, okay, I'm going to teach myself how to digitally draw. I had I didn't even know what digital art was. You know, I kind of taught myself everything. But that was also the era of like infographics on Instagram. So people were sharing right. like mad stuff on their stories. Um, Instagram was like very popular, TikTok obviously was very popular um, at the start of the pandemic. And I think that really helped with um, my success because people were just sharing my stories, especially because I was doing so many like social justice, uh, justice art and then like um, like art about like traumatic events in South Asian culture and things like that, people were sharing it. So I would say that the pandemic really helped me and supported my art. Um, and then once I had a business that started during the pandemic, people were just online. So I think yeah. people were just buying oh, okay. stuff online and just like supporting my art. And like since people were sharing already, that was like the start of my success. What's one mistake you've made early on in your creative career that you would, like, if you had the knowledge you had now, like you could have done differently? I trusted very easily when I was younger in my creative per journey. So like, I've gotten scammed with uh, manufacturers and things like that because there wasn't a contract in place. Um, like I didn't know the logistics of how to do things. So like I would just trust people to get their word. But I think with all the mistakes that I've made in the past, it's made me like who I am now. And I'd rather like make a mistake and fail at something instead of me making it later on or just like never learning from it. It's like 
you gotta like fall down so many times to get up, you know? You have to fail at least like 20 times to get one success, like one time, you know?